I'm in Frisco Fields and need some new wheels. On it, lad. Just getting her warmed up. Got a car here for you. Appreciate it. Some of y'all wasn't expecting Remy, but he ain't here. I'm sad to report that Mr. Duval, the host of this here program, has passed away. His friend, Ms. McConnell, wanted to come on and say something, but she wasn't up to it, so she asked me to say a few words for her. She says, Dear New Bordeaux, we have lost one of our favorite sons, a leader in the community, a beloved broadcaster, and my friend. Remy was a religious man, and I'm sure he would appreciate it if you kept him in your prayers. Oh, the hell with that. Remy was murdered, folks. And some of you may have heard what happened on the news, and I don't want to get into the particulars of it on account of it being an ongoing investigation. But we're going to find out who did it, New Bordeaux. And I'll tell you this much, God help him when I do. Mm -hmm. We look out for our own in New Bordeaux. And if anybody out there thinks that the murder of a white Christian citizen, a citizen whose roots go back to the very founding of this city, is going to go unanswered, well, you all don't know how I run things in this town. Yes, sir, there will be retribution. You all got my word on that. Local philanthropist and radio talk show host Remy Duval was found dead today, the victim of a bizarre and brutal murder in Frisco Field. The wealthy local celebrity and host of the long-running Native Sun radio program was found tied to a burning cross on the outskirts of Frisco Field. Police refuse to offer any comment on the potentially racially motivated nature of the killing, but say they are pursuing all leads. Olivia's at the country club. Get in. I'll run you through the plan. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Marcano's having real estate problems. I still don't understand why Olivia Marcano was involved in any of this. By all accounts, she had two or three times the money that Sal Marcano had. Money didn't mean shit to her. From what I was able to piece together, she hired someone to kill Lucho. Wanted to run things herself. Bottom line, I think she got off on all that mob bullshit. We're fucked, Olivia. You understand? That fucking shit stain Duval didn't name us in the will. Now everything's going to his goddamn nephew. Have you actually reviewed the will? I read the part that said all the land I'm building my casino on is now going to Stephen motherfucker DeGamo. I read that part. Six months ago, Remy revised the will, but he never executed it. What the hell are you talking about? In order for the will to be valid, it needs to be signed. Well, God damn it, woman, I know that. What does it mean for us? It means I have grounds to contest. Remy and I were business partners in several ventures, and one of my holding companies lists the land as an ancillary asset. Sounds like a lawyer's wet dream. What's something like that gonna run me? I haven't the slightest idea. Nearly every cent I got is tied up in that goddamn casino. I can't afford a big legal fight. There's got to be another way out of this mess. Stephen is coming to town for the funeral. I could arrange a meeting. Offer him a percentage of the casino's profits if he signs over the land. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. And then once he signs, we take care of him. All right, set it up. But my patience is at its goddamn end. Do you understand, Olivia? I'm tired of this bullshit. Have a little faith, Sal. Now, Mr. Clay entered the country club disguised as a waiter. Everyone in attendance was a rich asshole or part of the Southern Union, so getting Lincoln in there was easy. You put a black man in a uniform and he's damn near invisible. Hell, I drove in through the front gate and dropped him off. No one even gave us a second look. No. Surely, his uniform wasn't enough to get him past Mrs. McConnell's personal security detail. I mixed up a vial of fast-acting LSD. 
You know, same basic formula that we use as part of MK Ultra, and I gave it to Lincoln. He used a syringe to put a couple of drops into every drink he served. <laughs> Within a couple of minutes, anyone who drank that concoction was whacked out of their goddamn mind. Fuck me. What? What happened? I never learned how to tie a bow tie. <laughs> you sure you're up for this? Shit, I'll get in there and dose the guards with his military-grade LSD and get to Olivia. Don't let those pricks goad you into anything. Remember, you won't be able to take any weapons with you. How's it going, buddy? Follow the driveway up to the left. You've got the case, the syringe is in there. And remember, the drug acts fast. It'll fuck up whoever gets a dose real quick. Good. No sense in giving anyone time to figure out what's happening. Let me get a look at you. Mm. If they kill you, at least they'll have something nice to bury you in. <laughs> fuck you. You see everybody else got here on time. Them crackers put their hands all over everybody else. Lazy nigga, that's they job. Had me out there, fucking asked me where I got my car, where I'm from. You best get in that uniform or get out of my goddamn kitchen, Claudia. Follow me. Get a rag on that counter. Looking like a goddamn rat's nest. Miss Olivia's gonna be out soon. She gonna say some words for old Mr. Remy. Can't stand a lazy nigga. Nothing low on the face of God's earth. Get one of those out there to them folks and serve them their drinks. And don't go talking to any of them, you hear? If your country nigga ass can't carry out a couple of drinks, what good are you? Stop right there. Hold on. You ain't been paid to stand around, boy. Go serve them poor folks. Drink up, motherfucker. So do they have a suspect? Now the one. Old Earl said to send some of his boys out to the holler, rattle some of them monkeys' cages. I don't see it being one of the coloreds. Fucking apes was never too smart, but you don't watch them. They get vicious real quick. to personally thank y'all for coming to see our dear friend Remy Duvall off. I know with all of the violence that has reached its way into our community, it might have felt safer just to stay at home or even leave town. But you did what Remy would have done. You held your head high and you didn't run away. It's not exaggerating to say that Remy was a brave man. But his bravery is not what I'll miss most about him. 
What I'll miss most about Remy Duval is that he gave this city. No, he gave us a voice. The man who murdered Remy robbed this city of someone who honored its history. Not only that, Remy respected our shared Christian heritage, which extends all the way back to Europe. Remy was a dear, dear friend of mine. A dear friend to all of us. In the coming days and weeks, let's honor his memory by taking back our city. By preserving the way of life we hold dear. To Remy. To Remy. The boy's an absolute terror in the kitchen. But he fills out his swim trunks like an absolute champion, so I think I'll keep him. Right. We find this shine who killed Remy. He's gonna wish he was dead. Reginald, please keep your voice down. What? Oh, he's probably one of the good ones. Get over here with that bottle, ma'am. It's all right. He's resting with Jesus now. you either. I had us some money. Maybe. Spill it. What do you know? Well, let's just say there was a lot more to the Duval fortune when his daddy died. Hey, bring that Remember bottle over here. appreciated it. That's so lovely. You know we're gonna beat him to the moon, right? Damn Reds won't get the jump on the U.S. of A. When you're right, you're right. Essentially, that in all movies, laws lets the FHA sidestep yes, integration. I mean, every last goddamn dime is gone. Yeah, yeah you Jesus. So what am I going to tell the other brothers? We'll remind them to maintain why pride, brother. Because right now, it's the only thing the Southern Union has to its name. Right. Yes, I'll miss him too. Big, big old man, dingo nigga. Hey, new guy, you can smoke over here. You see how Clarence is behaving? Looks like he's got a touch of whatever's going around out there. <laughs> Ask me, it couldn't have happened to a nicer fella. Serves him right. Nigga this, nigga that. It's every other word that comes out of his mouth. Bad enough hearing it from all these white folks. Don't need to get it from one of our own. Maybe after this, he'll rethink how he runs things around here. That'll be the damn day. Men on the moon? I could give a shit. 
because they're all going to be white. Fuck them. Man. Hell with that, man. I'd think twice before going out there. Something's gotten into those folks. Something bad. I don't care what Clarence says, I'm staying in here. Those people have gone crazy. Finna cut that crap. What was I saying now? I just... <laughs> I wish I could show you. <laughs> It's all connected. You see? We, you, me, him. We're all connected. <laughs> Do you see lat trails? <laughs> See you at Sunday Mass. <laughs> Goddamn Donovan. Yeah. These people are out of their mind. I see Remy. No, wait. Oh. I am Remy. He's possessed me. Oh. Something is wrong. Get me out of here now. Yes, ma'am. I want additional men placed on the front door and around back. No one's allowed in or out without my say so. Should I say something to the guests? Look at such ass. You saw them. They've all come down with some kind of affliction. <laughs> That for Ms. Marcano? Yeah. I mean, yes, sir. Go on through. Put it on the ball. Has DeGamo signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Take one of his hands, see if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. I think our Negro friend here is a little dim. Won't someone get him out of here? All right, big boy. Time for you to take a walk. You were going to kill me. You ain't worth the trouble.
You're not welcome here. <laughs> now, I ain't asking you a second time, boy. The sign over that land, hmm? I swear to Christ, I will bust every fucking bone in your body. You hear me? Hmm? I'm not, I'm not signing a damn thing. out of here but we need to move marcano's probably sending more men yeah okay if they brought me here in my own car i think it's still near yeah oh god he's dead
Sonner told me to reach out. I certainly appreciate some help with the phones. I'll be happy to take care of that for you. out there. Marcano ain't gonna rest till he finds you. He broke my hand! Shit! I just wanna go home. I know. Listen, I got a friend. He's gonna keep an eye on you for a while. Keep you safe. At least till things calm down. Okay. Thank you. You saved my life. Don't mention it. Lincoln left him with me, and I got him the hell out of there. And you still know DeGarmo's whereabouts? <laughs> like I tell any of you assholes. Good morning, Ms. Marcano. I'm here with your breakfast. Let's freshen this room up. Get some of that sunlight in here. That's better. Are you telling me Lincoln Clay did not murder Olivia Marcano? He didn't kill women unless he had no other choice. I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> Back in 67, we were in a bar in Saigon, and this gook bitch comes strolling in. Skirt barely covering her ass, and she starts offering everybody blowjobs. G.I. wants sucky fucky. Hmm? G.I. wants boom boom. Then she pulls out a grenade and she kills three guys. A couple Marines in the bar want to cut that bitch's head off, but Lincoln stops them. Keeps them off of her until the MPs show up. If he wasn't going to kill that slag, he sure as fuck wasn't going to kill Olivia Marcano. Who'd you send? Oh, I did it myself. Yeah, to yeah. Just like you wanted. Any sign of the gamble? Gone. 
I, mean, I look everywhere. It's like he never even fucking existed. Well, this is a goddamn mess if ever I saw one. Between Duval's will and his fucking Lincoln Clay, it seems this shit's never gonna end. At least we don't have to cut Duval in on the action anymore. <laughs> you trying to be funny? <clears throat> the Gamo's lawyer is gonna keep this tied up in court for years. I ain't got that kind of time, you understand? Or money. There's got to be someone we can get to, force them to make this right. That takes a lot of pull. Pull we ain't got. Could always call Leo Galante, ask him, fuck him. The whole reason I'm building this goddamn casino is to get out from under them worthless fucks. Now I bring in the commission. They're gonna want to cut everything. God damn it. Go on, get the hell out of here. I gotta make this call. <laughs> yeah, Sal, how the fuck are you? Listen, I got something I need to discuss. I tried to reconcile the part of me that helped Lincoln with the part of me that vowed to follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. But I can't. You know what I remember? I remember watching the news and learning they had gunned down Dr. King. I remember watching people lash out, riot, because that's all they had left. All the while, Lincoln's in the other room, barely clinging to life. Maybe that's why I did what I did. Hey there, come on over and sit. I put Olivia Marcano in the hospital, but I'll be surprised if she makes it through the night. Sal's gonna know that he's lost Frisco Fields, that we've taken over his drug operations there and shut down his fucking greengrocer. We won't let that stand. The Irish are locking down all the action here, so I expect this district to come my way. I'll have no part of being tossed aside like you did last time. Maybe I missed the call or something, but I didn't even know you were working that part of the city. Here's the thing, Lincoln. Getting you boys in here vying for turf is guaranteed to end up a pissing contest. Just easy on everybody if you give me the territory like you did last time. Consider which way Donnie would want you to go, and then come to me. This turf's going to the Irish. <laughs> Fucking hell. You're smarter than your goddamn luck, lad. Yeah, I get it. I'm the Yankee motherfucker from Empire Bay. But twice in a row now, you cut me out. Just keep in mind, you do that to your own detriment. All right, so if we done, I'm gonna go. We'll talk later. Get on out of here. <laughs>